By Boston area standards, the city of Lynn is still somewhat affordable. The median rent for a two-bedroom apartment here is $2,150, about $1,000 less than in Boston proper. For years, that's made Lynn a destination for new immigrants, including many from Central America, like Olga Valiente. <laughs> Olga left Guatemala after a gang threatened to kidnap her children. She's lived in Lynn for nine years and in this modest apartment near Lynn Common for three. Her son sleeps here on an inflatable mattress to save space. Her two daughters share another bedroom, and Olga, who works cleaning other people's homes, has the third to herself. There's also a small kitchen and another space that's part living room and part dining room. Ah, por lo cerca de la escuela. Speaking through an interpreter, Olga says even though their home is small, the location is ideal, near their church, her kids' schools, and their grocery store. What's more, they've been able to pay for it until now. This spring, Olga's landlord told her the rent was increasing from $1,900 to $2,100. That's still below the current median for a Lynn 3 bedroom. But Olga says that for her family, it's just not doable long term. We barely can make it to 1900 Imagine when I had to pay all that increase. Olga's story raises doubts about the idea that production alone can solve the housing crisis. Development in Lynn is booming, but it's mostly smaller, more expensive units. This new building doesn't have any three bedrooms, and two bedrooms start at about $3,000. At Lynn City Hall, plans are underway to change that. It's certainly a top priority for our administration, and it's one of the most pressing issues in the, in the city. So Lynn Mayor Jared Nicholson is readying a new requirement that developers also create affordable housing on site or elsewhere, including units within reach of Lynn's poorest residents. But the details haven't been unveiled, and Nicholson says it'll be crucial to push hard, but not too hard. You want to set the right balance where you're doing right by the residents who are struggling with affordable housing, that doing right by the community, but also continuing to allow investors to make a return. Maybe in a few years, Olga and her family will reap the benefits. But right now, she says she has literally no idea where they'll go if they have to move. I had a conversation with my children, and that's what we always say, where we're going to end up, probably in the mountains or under the bridge. We don't know where we're going to go because it's, we don't want to have that amount of money to pay the rent. When I talk to them about that, it hurts. It's really hard. <laughs>